Hello everyone. My name is Chamath. I'm an engineer at WSO2. And today we are going to go over how you can configure device flow authentication for your applications using the WSO2 identity server. Let's get started. Device flow is useful for authorization flows on devices that do not support a web browser or that are input constrained. This includes smart TVs, gaming consoles, printers, cars, and many more. Imagine yourself trying to log into your favorite streaming app from your smart TV. You have to enter your username and password to log into your streaming service. Since the only supported input device is your TV's remote control with arrow keys and an enter button, you need to navigate through the on-screen keyboard on the TV display with your remote control and find all the letters, numbers, and special characters needed to enter your login credentials. And if you make any mistakes, you will have to go through it all over again. This is obviously not a pleasant user experience. It creates a lot of user friction that may end up turning away users instead of engaging them. So, how can you authenticate into an input constraint device without having to compromise user experience and security? This is where the OAuth2 device flow comes into the picture. Device flow is an extension to the OAuth2 specification. It is designed to make it easy for users to authenticate using input constraint devices that don't have an access to a browser. So, how does it all work? Let's see device flow in action. To use the device flow in our client application, first we need to enable the device flow ground type in the service party configurations. To do that, we will first go into the inbound authentication configuration and expand the OAuth and OpenID Connect configurations and click on Edit. Here we need to select device code grant type as an allowed grant type and also we need to allow authentication without the client secret. Then we'll click on Update to save our configurations. Next, let's head over to the client application we have configured to demonstrate how this works for end users. This example shows a streaming app installed on a smart TV. You want to log in into your account to access your favorite shows. Let's click on Authorize. Now we can either scan the QR code displayed on the screen or else type in the URL to our mobile device web browser and go to the link. When we go to the link, we would enter the code displayed on the screen. If we scan the QR code from our mobile device, the code would automatically appear in the input field. Let's click on continue. Now we are prompted for our username and password. Since we are accessing the authentication endpoint via our personal device, we can use any login assistance provided in the device, such as a password manager, to simplify the login experience. After the authentication is successful, we are logged into our account. As a user, we didn't have to worry about mistyping passwords or entering our account credentials to an untrusted device, such as a hotel room smart TV controller. As long as the device has the means to communicate over the internet, and a method to present the URL and the code, Device Flow provides an effective solution without compromising the user experience and the security.